Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels, or if you're watching uh, my lifestyle channel, hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, how are you all doing? I hope everybody's as well as possible. Um, I, the weather in North West Leicestershire has generally uh, been um, what, uh, like quite warm and sunny today. Um, quite humid and um, it's only gone cloudy now um, we've had um, a bit of rain but not an awful lot just um, like a shower today um, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and um, a big thank you and thumbs up for doing so and um, today I'm going to be doing Travel News at UK 5 Exciting Facts, September 2023, Part 3. So I'm going to jump right into it uh, with the first fantastic fact. Express.co.uk says the unlikely seaside city named one of the UK's most underrated holiday destinations. Da, da, da. It is Sunderland um, in the northeast of England. It is um, a city port um, in the county Tyne and Ware. And um, it is 12 miles from Newcastle at City and, count and Durham City. It um, was recently included in holidays or holiday home site independent uh, cottage uh, list of the UK's five most underrated cities um, alongside revivals Milton Keynes and Swansea so this is super excited and the city was named um, the best in the UK for independent restaurants uh, to raise a child and um, it hosts uh, three of the best bars in Europe wow that's, uh, that's absolutely exciting and well done to Sunderland for this uh, things to do in the area uh, nearby Washington Old Hall and um, which is a historic manor house and there is also um, Highton Castle, a castle gate house, tower built in the late 1300s, uh, surrounded by a park and Salter Light House uh, to the east of the city. Um, there's Rocker and Seaburn beaches, both sandy with lifeguards and it's also blue at Flag Beach, which is always really good and positive. And um, that means the beach is it's safe. And uh, there's also the National Glass Centre um as well to visit so um moving on to um number two cambrian news six months of delays expected um as work begins on active uh, travel patch and that's uh, into Aberystwyth, um which is at mid Wales from the north so again, again um, I hope I hope it really improves the roads uh, to make it better for tourists and also workers going into Aberystwyth and um, number three Govdart UK reforms uh, to package holidays to encourage more choice and cheaper summer breaks which is really good um, idea and again it helps people especially with the cost of living um, crisis and um, 
number four um business travel news you're up the uk's uh, government to increase the cut cost of visas by 15 to 20 percent uh, for international visitors from next month it helps to pay for the public sector pay rises that's what the government uh, say and also british travel news at europe and uh, number five daily express uh, scotland's uh, beautifully preserved un e SEO destination that uh, tops the bucket list. Scarra Brea is a 5,000 year old Neolithic settlement uh, which is uh, perfectly preserved in a sand dune. The site uh, was uh, rediscovered or it was not rediscovered until 1850 um, located um, on the Orkney Islands so if you're looking to travel to the Orkney Islands of uh, Scotland then again it would be a really um, good uh, destination for you to go and visit the UNEC the UNESC O destination Scarra Bria. So um, that's it for today, and I'll see you tomorrow for um, budget travel special 10 exciting facts. So please keep watching, and um, I hope everybody has a good day and night wherever you are in the world. And thank you, and bye for now. Thank you, bye.